Join me, Becky, and the squirrel as we head out on an adventure through the Ozark Mountains. We'll meet new friends. How you doing? That's a fun idea. And we'll see some very interesting sights. This adventure will take us across 10 states and we'll cross I don't know how many rivers. <laughs> so uh, let's get to it. traveling solo and I decided that we would camp in a little place in uh, northern Mississippi by a lake uh, I think the name of it is Puskas and uh, looked kind of like an abandoned campground there were a couple of other people there but uh, uh, there had been no maintenance done on the place in quite some time so but it was a nice place to camp and I really enjoyed it there. What happens next won't pretend to know. What happens next? I heard you say to love is to let go. After a good night's sleep, I got up, packed up, and made my way to Arkansas. On my way to the pre-planned meeting place, it was mostly forest service roads, nothing too bad, few water crossings. And then this last little section going up to our meeting place was it was pretty rocky, several rock shelves that were uh, pretty good size. They were a little bit of a challenge for Becky, but she made it no problem. And we ended up at one of the coolest campsites I've ever been at. Uh, we're just right on top of a mountain here with just some incredible views. Since I was the first one to camp, I thought I would explore a little bit. And as I was walking down this little path, I heard the unmistakable sound of a drone flying overhead. And I knew that meant I would soon have company. And sure enough, here came my friend Ryan, followed by my friend Jeremiah from Overland Pioneers. In today's world, you can set up camp really quick. So we went about doing that, got settled in, and enjoyed some delicious chicken tacos. Kicked back and watched an incredible sunset. And what better follow up than this incredible sunrise? So we packed up camp and headed out for the day. And man, I'm here to tell you. I had no idea that those arcs were as beautiful as they are. So we made our way down the mountain and went in search of this really awesome waterfall that we had heard about.
And from here we headed out to make our way to our next camp where we were planning to meet up with Matt from Ozark Overland Adventures. If you watch his videos, you probably already know that he ended up having some vehicle issues and wasn't able to make it. One thing I learned on this trip is the Ozarks have a little bit of everything and they have no shortage of water and mud. And while we hated that we weren't able to meet up with Matt, uh, man oh man did he ever send us to a great spot. Check this out. This turned out to be an amazing campsite. We were able to set our chairs down in the edge of the water and just really enjoy ourselves for a few hours. Uh, we got to camp pretty early and we had a great time there. After a restful but windy night, uh, we decided to pack up in the morning and head out and hit some trails for the day.
after a really fun day on the trails, we made our way towards Springfield, Missouri for the Moore Expo. Had a really good time there. It's a great event. If you've never been, I highly recommend it. After the expo, me and Becky made our way back home.